Oh, spoke with such feeling too. I do not need feeling. What I need is what I have, and that is a list. Tolerable, dutiful, suitable enough hips for childbearing, and at least half a brain. And that last part is, is not so much a requirement, but a preference. Whoa there! Yes. Are you in trouble? Did your maid know you were riding a stride? I have no maid. Ah, then you're married. Forgive me. Losing races to strange women in such parts at dawn. Can only imagine the questions I will be asked. <laughs> <laughs> Good day, sir. Let's go. We've not yet been introduced! I'm afraid that is not possible, not what I have a victory lap to enjoy! <laughs> I know that gentleman. Who? The Viscount? I do not believe I've yet made an introduction. Of course. It must be my mistake. No, you have quite the eye. Viscount Bridgerton is wealthy, well-connected, and from one of the town's most illustrious families. Apparently hoping to marry this season, he may very well be our most eligible bachelor indeed. He is very handsome. Yes. The lady in question should have more to recommend her. Do not tell us you are hoping for a love match. Love is the last thing I desire. But if my children are to be of good stock, then their mother must be of impeccable quality. Pleasing face, an acceptable wit, genteel manners enough to credit a Viscountess. It should not be so hard to find. Someone there? You. I never got your name. I was wondering if we'd meet again. So you might discern if my wit is acceptable, my manners genteel. Viscount Bridgerton, yes. When you manage to find this paragon of virtue, whatever makes you think she will accept your suit? Are the young ladies of London truly so easily won by a pleasing smile and absolutely nothing more? So you find my smile pleasing? I find your opinion of yourself entirely too high. Your character is as deficient as your horsemanship. I shall bid you good night. You will end up alone with such expectations. Though, perhaps you could speak with my sister. It is her blessing you shall need if we are... Oh, here she is, Melky. Ah, oh, Lord Bridgerton. I see you've met Miss Edwina. This is... Uh... Her sister. Miss Sharma, my lord. Oh. Is something wrong, Bibi? You are not to go near that man. Do you understand? She is a lovely diamond, dearest. Indeed. She is who I shall marry. Miss Sharma. Miss Edwina Sharma. Not the sister. Miss Edwina will suffice. Bridgerton! I am afraid you are much too late, my lord. You now find yourself at the back of a very, very considerably long queue. Though I was hoping to speak with you. Miss Edwina, I was hoping to call on you this morning. My I... sister is well aware of everything. But, but I promised my fire. family I'd join them for breakfast. We're exceptionally close. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Nectar, really? Yes. I have a feeling about him. A feeling? <laughs> Pardon me? You simply chose the wars everyone else has chosen. Quite a feeling. And the Viscount does not like to lose. He's never stomached it, even back at Oxford. I shall certainly not let some sister keep me from getting what it is I want. Whom you want, you mean? You and the Viscount know each other from Oxford. I thought you met today. Do not speak to me or my sister ever again. What has happened? It seems a second game was afoot today, and Lord Bridgerton made certain I play the fool. Let us go. How much clearer must I be? I've got a gift for Miss Edwina. Take your Trojan horse elsewhere. I assure you, Miss Sharma, this is a very real horse. I'd not recommend trying to climb inside. I have never met a man as brazenly presumptuous. You do not even know me. Oh, the horse is for me. Well, I thought you loved animals. I do, but usually the kind that can curl up on my lap. <laughs> my apologies. You said something about Nectar reminding you of a beloved horse back in... Yeah. That horse is a character from a novel. A novel of love, in fact. Something for which my sister is an enthusiast. Uh, Lord Bridgerton, I did not expect you. No, I seem to have fallen off the guest list. Ah. All your defences crumble, that you would willingly take on any pain, any burden for her. To honour her. To honour her being, with your deeds and words. To all. Truth be told, I'm not, not a man of poetry. I may not be able to offer the display of passion that you truly deserve, but I assure you, when it comes to action and duty, 
I shall never be found lacking. And I hope that is what will speak louder than any pretty words ever can. I am aware I have made a fool of myself tonight, Lady Danbury. I do not need to hear it from you. In fact, I do not need to hear it from anyone. I do not care what a single person here thinks of me. Once Edwina is married, I shall return home alone, only too glad to never set foot in this city again. Well, I cannot wait to meet the woman who has captured your heart. Tell me, what is she like? Miss Edwina is the picture of grace, beauty and charm. Unfortunately, she has a most annoying sister who has styled herself as something of a gatekeeper. Ah, you're smiling. I see my plan to win you over is already working. I was smiling at the view. Newton is an excellent judge of character. Oh, see? And you must be Miss Edwina. No. This is her sister, Miss Kate Sharma. Ah, oh, forgive me, Miss Sharma. I am entirely flattered. Just pull. I am trying. It is stuck. <laughs> hey. Then let us put our past acrimony behind us. And allow me to prove I can offer your sister all the happiness and security you seek. Could you... Could you do me that favor? you say she is the one in whose presence you cannot properly think or even or even breathe if you say you feel that feeling the one that makes it impossible for you to look away from no, her at any given me. moment are you hurt what can you breathe it is only a sting of course are you certain body and soul feel as if they could burst into flames whenever the two of you are near. And when all you are able to do in their presence is to fight the urge to lean forward and, and touch their lips with yours. Michelle. Lord Bridgerton? Did you tell the Viscount about your beasting? <sighs> I got stung. Ah. Oh. Ladies do not hunt. Do you not are not allowed to, Lord Bridgerton? Yes. You're still convinced we have lost our prey? I'm convinced that deer prefer the edge of the forest. The other morning. When I was stunned. After which you put my hand to your bosom. To show you I was unharmed, you were overcome. Indeed I was not. You were the one who then looked at me. You looked at me! Not in the way that you did. And how exactly did I look? Well, it will signify little if you mean to hold your gun in that way. I know how to hold a gun. Evidently not a British one. You have to... I Here. require no instruction. Just hold it. Like this. Lord Bridgerton. I did not mean to start with you. I saw a light and thought I might have left a candle lit. No, only me. This is my father's library. These books were some of his most treasured possessions. How did he die? He was stung by a bee. I need you to dance with him. What? If he's going to declare himself before the end of the ball, as I hope, he shall need to ask you for your blessing. And you are ready to grant him your blessing, are you not? If your silence is an indication you are reconsidering your declaration, Is that Lord? what you want for me to reconsider? It does not matter what I want. I do not think that is true. I am to return to India. The moment my sister marries. You will abandon her? Far from it, my lord, she will be married. She will not need me. There will be no more reason for me to stay. It was the plan all along. Why are you so distressed? 
When will you leave? Immediately. Once your sister is married? I presume so, yes. That is it, is it not? You simply do not like me. Of course I do not like then you. Then tell me why. Why is it that you dislike me so? Because, because you vex me. I am a gentleman. And your heart is with my sister. And my heart is with your sister. Tell me you feel nothing, and I will walk away. Oh! I'm so sorry. Daphne! There is obviously something between you, and I know that this is not as you would wish it. But you must be honest with yourself. Miss Irina Sharma, will you marry me? Yes, because one way or another, these kind of feelings always have a way of coming to the surface. And what kind of feelings are those? Well, love. The shot. Then I know what I must do. Lord Bridgerton? Miss Sharma, we're here to have Miss Edwina's betrothal ring altered to fit. My apologies, but my sister and my mother have not yet returned home. Do you and your sister happen to share gloves? I... yes, on occasion. I knew it. I can take the measure of a hand at 20 paces. We may use your finger to size the ring. Oh, I, I beg your pardon. That shan't be necessary. <laughs> Nonsense. What a handsome couple they make. <laughs> pardon me? Mr. Dorset and my sister. I noticed that he was quite smitten with her the last time they met. Perhaps he will convince her to stay in England after all. She barely knows the gentleman. Miss Sharma. Lord Bridgerton. Now it is not proper to stare. So tell me, what has she done? She has done nothing, it is you. You have made this match impossible. But I am leaving for India. And it is not far enough. Do you think that there is a corner of this earth that you could travel to far away enough to free me from this torment? Do you even know all the ways a lady can be seduced? The things I could teach you. You are the bane of my existence object of all my desires. Please, Lord Bridgerton. Anthony, you must keep your word. You must marry my sister. You must marry her as soon as you can, because this feeling that plagues us so, it will pass. It will become tenable. It will become bearable. And soon enough, it will be as if we never felt it at all. Mere passion. It must, because it has to. Very well. I shall see that the wedding shall take place as soon as possible. It is a very powerful thing to meet someone and feel that you know them in a way unlike any other. I, Lord Anthony Bridgerton. Allow me. Wait, need a moment. You told me you hated him. That only meant your feelings were strong. Do you love him? You cannot be here. Miss Sharma. This is I... my place of refuge. A closet? Yes. Just, just... Wait. Goodbye, my lord. I cannot marry you, Lord Bridgerton. I may not know exactly what true love feels like, but I certainly know what it is not. You will never meet my eyes in the same manner that you met my sisters on that altar today. You will never look at me the same way. So forgive me, if it is now my wish. To suspend time. To delay the inevitable, to for a mere moment not to think of what comes next. Was I truly that blind? Were they always this obvious? We kissed. We did not. Nothing happened between us. Are you quite serious? We did a terrible thing. It is maddening. How much you consume my very being. 
Watch, I must remind myself. I am a gentleman, and you are a lady of that. That scent. Mm. Lilies. What did I tell you about you and your orders? All I find myself thinking about, all I find myself being able to breathe for, is you. I must speak with Miss Sharma. She does not seem to be here. One of the horses is gone too. It's my fault. It is all my fault. She's awake. Mrs. Wilson heard from one of the maids. Do not lose her, Anthony. I came to apologize yes, you already and said to that. ask you to marry me. I'm returning to India. He was going to ask me to marry him. I could not allow it. Oh. You are running away. Please go. Lord Bridgerton. Misham. Be unafraid to follow your heart after doing the exact opposite for far too long. We should continue to keep our distance between us in light of them. Perhaps we should not. Are you going to ask me to dance? One last time. Are you going to say yes? Just keep looking at me. No one else matters. On every walk, every time we've been together and every time we've been apart, you do not have to accept it, you do not have to embrace it, or even allow it, knowing you, you probably will not, but you must know it in your heart. You must feel it, because I do. I love you. I do not know what to say. You do not have to say anything. I do not think there is anything else to say. Other than I love you too. I know I am imperfect, but I will humble myself before you, because I cannot imagine my life without you, and that is why I wish to marry you. I suppose that means they are cutting out. No, 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 no we're not, not cutting out. You do know there'll never be a day where you do not vex me. Is that a promise, Kathane Sharma? <laughs>